everyone. Welcome to another episode of Fangirls Assemble. Finally, all three three of us have assembled after Yay. some time. We did it. We did it. All we of our it. finally, all of our um, schedule aligned. Everything worked out. The universe, that all the stars aligned. Universe was okay with it, and so we finally managed to assemble together. And what better? Do- time or reason to do it then rather than to talk about show off our hauls and talk about our reads and reviews so before we get going where do you ladies go to buy your books i see a lot of trades.com that's right what is this maddie tell us more website ever you can get your books up to 42 sometimes 50 percent off and i'm talking about all the major players okay i'm talking dc I'm talking Marvel. I'm talking Image. I'm talking Boom. I'm talking Dark Horse. All of those. And Krista, tell me how I get that free shipping. Girl, if you live in the United States, just spend $50. It's the easiest thing to do there. And you will get a lot of books for that price. You will get a great deal. $50, free shipping. It's the best. I can't not do that $50 order, you guys. It's so amazing. here's a question, though. Are my books going to be shipped very securely? Oh, it's no Amazon girl. If it were, we wouldn't be talking about them because we hate that. It's like the packaging is otherworldly. I can't even describe it. The boxes are thick. The padding's amazing. It's a, it cradles your books like a like a child. Like you want them to come to you. It's, it's, it's almost, perfect. It's almost as if they packed so that USB USPS employees can play football with it, which probably happens. So. Uh- Hey, listen. no offense to the ones out there who don't do that. I'm sure there's tons of you, but you know, it happens. So, what's coming out this week that people can go and, um, you know, buy? Let's look. We've got a bunch of. I well, there's right uh, I Hate Fairyland Deluxe Hardcover Volume Ooh. 2 is coming out. And it's an image, and you know, yeah. we love image hardcovers. Of no Dust Jacket. It's the best. Uh-huh. Um, we've got Catwoman Volume 2. I really Yay! like Volume 1. Yes. What's it, um, it already out last week? Or oh, I don't know. I'm looking at the upcoming for okay. 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 trade, so I guess. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Umbrella Academy Library Edition. Excited ooh. about that one. So are you going to be getting that? It's your boy, Gerard Way. I, you know, I want to. I may not do it this week, but I want to. Okay. I know the volume two is coming out in November. So one and two is coming out. I really liked that book when I read it all those years ago. So I'm actually excited. Yeah, I read it forever ago too. You know, yeah. when I was like, oh, it make him a good romance. <laughs> They're the best yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can you, can you do the show with that voice? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> guys. Um, then there was- um, I could have sworn there was something big coming out next week I was excited for. Unstoppable Wasp. Volume two is coming out next week. I mean, That's I'm excited exciting. for that, but I know there's, there's something else. Uh, Batman Eternal Omnibus is coming out. Mm, You're like, that's not it. Wait, <laughs> I wait, don't like the, the story. Red, isn't the Red Sonya Omnibus coming out like soon? I think it's in last week of September. It says, oh, well, Insta Trade says release date is 9 11. Oh, then it's 9 11. Is it? Mm, I think that's wrong. I'm gonna see. Sometimes it takes a while to get updated. Let's see what Amazon says. Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, um, and then I'm uh, looking at previews. I'm not seeing a unnatural. Oh yeah, yet. maybe that's an older one because according to Amazon, they're not getting it until November. That's fine. Uh-huh. Honestly, I'd like to save my money until then. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I'm I'm interested to see those covers too because like I've seen a couple different covers float around. One of them is not good, Maddie. I mean, I would still buy it. I know. I know. I know. I the other one that you see, like if you look on Amazon, I w- I like a lot more. Like a, the uh, the Jenny Yeah, that's like I'm like, why is that not a thing? Um, <laughs> I don't know. One of the ones that I am really excited for that's actually not coming out this week, but the following week, Lazarus uh, third oversized hardcover that's coming out on nine eighteen or nine seventeen. Like you know, I am super excited for a lot. Just kind of. I mean, I'm going to talk about it in next week's episode as well, but I need to needed to talk about it now. All right. Well, so go to InStockTrades.com, as these ladies have suggested, for all your collected editions needs. It's going to be 42% off and up to 50% off for some cases and free shipping over $50 and more. Come on. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. 
So today we're going to be talking about hauls and reads and reviews. And I'm going to say, since Kristen got me onto this whole digital thing, especially Hoopla and Marvel <laughs> Unlimited, my, my purchasing actually have dropped. I was so shocked to find out since last time we talked about it because I'm like, oh, when was the last time we talked about it? And then I was looking up all the things I buy. I didn't buy much, you guys. So <laughs> you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and show my stuff first. I'll be right back. My cat yeah. is really upset that I closed the door. Oh, okay. Let's hang out with us. All right. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring her in. All right. So shall we wait till Maddie comes back? How was your day, Kristen? I don't think uh, I asked you. You know what? I do want to address the chat real quick. Can you pop up that last uh, message that you see right there? Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm grabbing Moonshadow. Uh, Larry's saying, did you get to check, ch uh, check out page 477? I'm going to go there right now. He left a comment and said, um, hey, you want more of this cat? You got to check out this page because it's great. So I, I got the book. I'm going there. Hold on. We're getting there. 477. Oh, I like it. I do like it. I do like this page. So there's ah! the cat up top. That is great. Thank you for pointing that out, Larry. That, that is oh that is really God. wonderful. Because I will still say, I, I do love this art. I do love this art. And I want more of the cat. So thank you for pointing that out. That is awesome. Oh, I'm going to paint that paint that thing. It's wonderful. I don't know if people know this, but I actually paint stuff at times, from time to time. But I'm going to paint that. All right. OK, so let's get this going. Hi, Robin. Robin. I think oh. meeting my mic because she's like tearing up this chair behind me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK, so. This is the first one that I got. It's Heart in the Box by Kelly Thompson. It's one of her first work Ooh. before she even started, um, like, you know, started in like Marvel and stuff. So this is pretty cool art. But the reason I actually got it because Books a Million was giving up like a fifty, uh, like a five dollar coupon or something, and I needed to add this to the card so I can get that five dollar coupon. This book was ten dollar, guys. So I don't think I. Got <laughs> But you know what I was doing? I was actually buying these lovely frames. Ah, oh, yes. That, you know, that Kristen got me all mad about. Like, you know, I'm loving this. So this is like the two new um, two new Kamala Khan cover I got. I nice. I yes. love it. So I got them. I kind of put them in the in the shelf, in the cover thingy. Um, and this is actually one that was a gift, who is uh, a viewer of our show, Matt Capullo, I think his name. Yeah, Matt Capullo. Uh, he gave me this book um, and gifted me this um, floppy because he's like, well, you're going to enjoy it more than I. I really enjoy it more love than I do. I'm like, thank you very much. I sold him a couple of books. It was, a uh, you know, and then um, he sent me this. So I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Um, then this Britannia. Uh, a Valiant Deluxe hardcover. I do love Va Valiant hardcover. And supposedly this is a one and done story about a detective in Roman Empire. Like, I'm like, tell me more about this because the story seems super interesting. So I did get that. Um, and then Isabella by nice, Raul. Nice. So the art of it is nothing short of gorgeous, like that I've seen. And this is about lady samurais, you know, all over feudal Japan. So the volume two is coming out in November. I'm going to read them at that time. So this one actually covers the first three um, stories. Um, and this is like first time in English. So, you know, and speak of like this is dark horse by the way but it's like very much of an image quality i would say if you compare when i compare to an oversized hardcover this is what it looks like so it's wider but not taller it's not that thick either is it i thought it'd be thicker no, no, no. yeah we picked it up yesterday oh, i looked at it second and charles and i was pretty surprised right it's not thicker but the thing is like it's wider like you know if you see the width oh, can you see it can you see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but um, it's not taller. So, but it looks amazing. It looks amazingly put together. I love it. So that's that. Then I got Authority Omnibus. I had nice. To it. Even price. though I read this story like, you know, four times now, I had to have the Omnibus. Now after getting it though, I'm like, mm, did I really need it? <laughs> but no. It's worth it though. I really like it. I like the quality of the book. I mean, I love the story. Right. So I, I mean, I really, it, looks, it looks good without the dust jacket too. So I like. Yeah, it. I did see that. And of course, last but not the least, 
of course, of course. Of course, right? Of course. Yeah. Volume five, it's now out there. It's complete. All the oversized hardcover is there. If you go to our Instagram, you're going to see my many different ways I have put that shelf and many different times I have posted the picture of that shelf. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell it. I was very excited. So anyway. Nice. Yeah. Hey, you may want to address what Hayden said about Miss Marvel in the chat. What did he say? What did he say? All right. Um, I got a third minute of HC yesterday. I really didn't like it. Once I got into Civil War II. Oh, <gasps> That was the best part. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, you know, you didn't like it, it's not your thing. That's fine. But if you be honest, though, that was, I, I personally like that part because that kind of helped her uh, step out of Carol Denver's shadow. Um, and the follow-up stories are much more interesting. But anyway, I don't know. But anyway, um, L Denver saying we just got second Charles here. I haven't been Ooh, yet. It's really nice. cool. I, I went to my, fir my first time yesterday. I really liked it. It's it's like bigger than you thought, right? Oh, like, yeah. It's huge. And they're I, all like that. If I had more time, and I, I didn't want to spend too much time, but I would have like gone through all of the other books too, because I do read other books. Mm. So um, you would, you would have found too much. <laughs> It would have so, been overwhelming. But. So yeah, I'm done with my haul. That's it. That's what I I, I bought over the last month. So Maddie, yeah. do you want to show us uh, second and Charles stuff? Sure. So I, I didn't get too much, but I did get a few things. Uh, so the first thing I grabbed, which I then carried around the store with me, which is a little embarrassing, uh, but they had the Sunstone calendar. <laughs> so I got it. Well, Elliot bought it all this for me. It's very nice to me. But um, show us. It's a, look how I mean this is huge. Look how big this is. This big old sunstone calendar. Um, all illustrations by uh, Stepio and Sedgwick. They're all appropriate, so I can actually show them. Unlike the book, which I can't open in, on the show, but they're all like just I mean full big illustrations from the sunstone universe. I'm really excited. I think it'll look cute in my comic book room, and then I'll hide it if my mom comes over because some of these. <laughs> <laughs> She's not watching the show. It's fine. Do you but, have multiple um, things you hide when your mom comes over? No, most of my comic book room is very tame. Oh, good. You know, I mean, there's a, it's, it's less stress, right? Come oh, on. yeah, but like, you know, speaking of maybe thing, not I mean, this, but there is really nice though. I'm really excited. But speaking of hiding things when parents come over, I have a box ready to go where there is things I put in the box. And then I move them away whenever my parents come. Yeah. That's smart. I, I don't have yeah. anything like that, guys. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but your dad's cool. Yeah, yeah. that's true. He yeah. reads comics and stuff. My mom, like, there, I mean, there's a comic book room. It's to the back. So at least, like, when, when family members come in, they're not, like, right in their face immediately. Um, but I do keep all of my, like, image um, stuff at the top and my some of my dark horse stuff at the top. Because, so, like, every once in a while, like, nieces and nephews will visit. Hmm. But, I mean, pretty much everything is okay. So it's fine. <laughs> or Omar's kids. That's fair. Know. You probably I mean, wouldn't even want them to like open a lot of saga or in basement. Yeah. Um, so I also picked up. Sorry, my cat is Robin. Quit it. Um, I, I I managed to get one more floppy for my the Titans collection number Ooh. thirty-seven. So now I have like five left. And once I get the rest of those five, then I'm going to custom bind them. I've never custom bound anything, so I'm a little nervous about mm -hmm. that. Um, but I'm excited. So I'm one step closer to get, come up finishing the Titans. And for those of you at home that haven't heard me talk about this before, um, the Titans was never collected. Mm -hmm. So I've just been buying all the floppies. I'm going to custom bind it. Uh, Omar, uh, who's also on the Owner Rose channel and also on my channel, Near Mint Condition, he has a custom bound one of this. And, you know, if he really loved me, he would just give it to me. But I won't, <laughs> so I'll have to do it myself. We should start his petition, really. Yeah, he has Make something that yeah. he's not going to look at again. Just give it to me. <laughs> so which era is this? This, uh, so this, this is uh, 2002. So it's okay. by, I don't know, Fairbairn. I don't work as the, art, the writers, but um, it started like 98 and went on to like 2002, 2003. But um, now what if you know the day you get it back bound? They say that they're gonna they're announcing the omnibus print. You know that would be like DC to do, but <laughs> I don't ever trust them to ever really collect these ever. That's they, fair. They, are, they did collect Titans. This is why it's very frustrating. Why would you make it like the Titans? Is what I'm collecting. It's hard to find. But Titans is collected in uh -huh. like 
trades and hardcovers and all miscellaneous sizes. And then they were re-releasing those. I think it got canceled again. DC sucks. <laughs> we get DC Vintage really hard. When it comes to, like, you know, uh, collector editions, they kind of do. But, yeah. Well, I mean, their big omnibuses are great, but then, like, series like this get left in, in the dust, and it's kind of a bummer. Mm. Um, so, I, L. Denver saying Titan Season 2 started on DC app. Did, Have you did it already start just now? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, have you, I mean, I was just going to well, ask. Well, I... I hate it. Season one. <laughs> I have like, mega problems with that show. As a Titans mm-hmm. fan, and I mean Titans. I'm a Teen Titans fan too, but like Titans is my number one. That show I've got so many I've got so many problems with. There's good oh. moments. Donna, Troy, my girl, my number one lady, my love. Great. Am I gonna watch season two for her? Yes. Am I gonna hate <laughs> everything else about it? Yes. Probably, Probably. Yeah. Unless, unless they took some good steps to change some stuff, which they need to. Being edgy, edgy McEdge Lord, just to like <laughs> show anymore. It's a waste of time. Focus on character development. Well, what are you doing? Say that again. Edgy, edgy McEdge Lord. Mac McEdge Lord or yeah. edgy? Okay, all right. I hate yeah. it. It's just like when they give it like. I'm gonna use that. For everyone's now. cussing for no reason. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. You know, oh, guys, we should all. Oh my gosh, Omar here. is literally messaging me during this show. Uh, he should know better. Get at him. Message him back and say, "Give me that Titans omnibus." Give me that that Titans. <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> That's right. Um, so I also picked up Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, the hardcover. Yes. Well. I don't have these, and I've read. I guess I've read most of this, if not all of Squirrel Girl, probably like when I was getting into comics forever ago. Mm-hmm. Um. But these were each like ten bucks. Oh, nice! Great deal. So good. My Marvel collection is so small, and you can't see because I'm in my craft room right now. I wanted to be well lit, <laughs> <laughs> but I I think a lot of the Marvel stuff is is so expensive, you know, and it's it's so expensive for the size of the book, you know, and it it really upsets me because like eighteen dollars for those really 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 thin trades, and I just I I hate it. Um, but ten dollars for each of these is a great deal, and so I was really excited. This is this is all second Charles yesterday, so pretty excited. I almost bought Road to the War of the Kings or whatever. Uh, it was like sixty bucks, but I figure eventually some more people in the group will sell it as like a a package deal with the three of those. Mm. Um, and the last thing I got for like five bucks was uh, Dr. Horrible and Other Horrible Stories. Yes. Tell me more about this. Oh, for real. Hey, Dr. Horrible sing-along blog. You don't like me. Do you like Faria. musicals? You don't like no. musicals. You like musicals. Oh, well, then you oh. don't care. You may not like this. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, um, it's really funny. So this is like a, uh, a continuation of extra side stories accompanying the musical called Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. It's written by Joss Whedon. Uh, oh, okay. Fame of Avengers fame. Uh-huh. Um, it features Neil Patrick Harris, who is in How Much Your Mother, and um, Nathan Fillion, Felicia Nathan, Day. Nathan Fillion, Felicia Day. You're also, they, these are all like big kind of nerd icons. And the movie's so funny and cute, and I love it. Um, so good. And so I figured for $5, because I've looked at this before, I've seen him in like half price books. I was like, well, I might as well grab it for five dollars. I saw a few of the other things in Second and Charles, but they didn't match those uh, in stock trades prices, so I couldn't do it. Like I wanted to get Bloom, that manga the, about um, the LGBT manga that I think maybe the, you the not manga, it. but they put a manga section. Yeah, it was not a manga. Well, no, of course. <laughs> yeah, why would they put it? Why <laughs> Second and Charles? Let's have a. It's that first second you. book. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe about Second and Charles. <laughs> <laughs> they put so many different books in the manga section that are not manga. Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, well, I, I hate that. So many people do Scott Pilgrim. Bam does that. It was very Just weird. Me. I was like, does it read the same way? Wow. <laughs> what are you doing? That should tell you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it was it was cool. I think it, it was a good little shopping trip day. Because I, I did a, a bigger haul earlier and did uh, earlier on like a couple weeks ago and did on the show, but 
this was a nice, like reasonable amount of money to spend in one sitting. <laughs> and I didn't have to spend any of it. Thanks to Elliot, which is great. Awesome. All right, Kristen, what do you got? Yes. Well, uh, Amazon had the Captain Marvel Collector's Core box set, or box, I guess, for whatever month that came out, for like dirt cheap. So I got that. Um, in the box, there was a Captain Marvel exclusive. Ooh. She's flying. That's kind of cute. Her eyes kind of creep me out, but whatever. You can, you can, you can draw it in. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just <laughs> draw an eyeball. But my favorite part about the whole box was, of course, Nick Fury <laughs> holding Goose. Uh, it's so cute. It's so cute. So I had to get back. So cute. I'll love it forever. Oh, you can even see Goose's tail in the back. Come on. That is an awesome detail. I love it. And uh, because I haven't bought anything else, I have a library haul. Show us. So this is what I got from the library. Uh, I've been eyeing Mob Psycho 100 because, of course, I love One Punch Man. I have to check this out. I know Maddie says she watched the anime too, so I'm going to do that. Uh, then I got the Avant Guards because I read the first few issues and loved it. This is Boom series, but girls who play basketball, and it's great, and I really love it. And look at the cute art; it's so good. Who is the so, writer? Because I keep forgetting who's the writer. Uh, Carly Austin. Is it Austin okay. Houston? Something like that. Okay. Um, and who who does the art? Let's see. Illustrated by Noah Hayes. Yeah, I, I like what I've read. I mean, again, I own it, so there. now that you have it, I, I, or that you're checking it out, I've got to read it. Yeah, we're, we'll read it together. Uh, then I picked up Interceptor by Donny Cates. Nice. Ooh, look at this crazy cover. Um, I know nothing about this, guys, but it looks dark, and it looks like I need to read it, and it's Donny mm -hmm. Cates. So I, I, I figure I'm good, yeah. And it's Vault, Vault Comics, so we love Vault, right? Mm -hmm. Heathen. Of course I had to pick up Mr. and Mrs. X Volume 2. Yay! Guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna love every minute. You already know that. I don't have to say more. Uh, then I picked up this book about Stephen Hawking. It is a first second book Ooh. about his life. Huh. Uh, yeah, I'm liking the art. I'm interested in what's happening so far. I'm a little bit into it. And yeah, about Stephen in Hawking. Interesting. So that's that. Then I picked up Bone Parish, which is a boom series by Colin Bunn. I've heard a little bit about this, but I couldn't tell you what I've heard. So there you go. <laughs> Something about drugs, guys. I don't know. Do tell me how it is because I want to check it out on Hoopla. Yeah, I'll let you know. And then I've been anticipating this for quite a long time. I'm so excited. Pumpkin Heads by Faith Aaron Hicks and Rainbow I'm Rowell. I've been looking at this Hi. and almost buying it a million times. So I want to yes. know if you like it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll, I'll read it very soon. I Listen, I know nothing about it, but those two names got me easy. I love Rainbow Rowell. I love Faith Aaron well, Hicks. Have you checked out Rainbow Rowell's uh, Runaways? Because that's... I haven't just because I, it's been so long since I've read the original. Okay. And it's a continuation. So I plan to reread the original and then continue with her. I do know that it's kind of like a reboot. So I mean, is I don't it a reboot? Know. I've heard I, it continued. Oh, okay. Because like I, I tried to read the first issue and I was like, oh, this is continuing stuff. Um, oh, okay. okay. Never mind so, then. Never mind what I said. But, but anyway. guys, pumpkin heads. It's just so fall and I'm so excited. And again, yeah. I love these two. So yay. Right. That's what I got. Awesome. Well, you know, it looks like we're a little bit light on the hauling bit, but I'm pretty sure we're going to make up for it because we read a lot. Um, Maddie, would you want to start us with what you read recently? Oh, man. You should not give that to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot of Catwoman stuff recently, and I, and I say a lot. I didn't read a lot, but um, I did finally read the DC trade for Catwoman because I've been, I've been putting that off. I'm so behind. I just keep buying stuff and not reading. It's awful. Mm -hmm. Um, but I read it and I really, really like it. Of course, Joelle Jones, you know, I love her. And I, I really, really enjoyed the book. I thought it was pretty great. In contrast, I read DC Inc. Catwoman. Ooh, okay. T tell us about that. <laughs> Kristen, do not yeah. show any reaction. <laughs> oh, she already knows how I feel. Yeah, we <laughs> talked about it yesterday. Um, you know, why should it be called Catgirl? Yeah. Um, I thought it was okay. I mean, like, you know, 
the DC Ink stuff is fun. I think it's really great for like newer readers. I don't think it's anything to write home about for for me. Um, I like the art. I thought they kind of miss what her character is like. Although, like, I do appreciate attention to her struggle and where she came from. It just felt a little weird. It felt weird. Her she her characterization felt weird. Bruce felt weird. Yeah, and then really felt felt really weird, awkward. I was like, I, you know, I, I think somebody in the higher ups is like, okay, if we're gonna write this DC Ink series, this graphic novel series that for uh, young adults, we have to put a romance option. They're thinking that, right? Because they think, okay, this is gonna be for girls. We have to put a romance option in it. They didn't have to. I don't think it was necessary. I don't think you need to have Bruce in there. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense for them to be around each other then, but. I don't know. So I'm going to keep reading all the DC Ink stuff and see if I like, if any of them really catches on, because I still want to read Raven. Um, yeah. And I the new uh, Harley Quinn looks good, too, because Mariko. Oh, oh, yeah. I need to pick that up. I keep forgetting that came out. I'm <laughs> That's dying. That's Mariko Tamaki. So. I mean, we trust her. I, yeah. she, she can't do any wrong to me. We hope. <laughs> yeah, you hope. Mariko, don't do this to but- me. <laughs> but it actually kind of brings up a point is that given that this is written for young adults, shouldn't there be more um, kind of like care taken or more responsibility to tell like a good story to kind of show that, hey, this kind of shit is not OK. This is OK. Like, you know, kind of like that. I mean, I don't really feel like that. I don't think they I don't think they glorify any of the bad stuff that happens in that. I mean, except maybe her stealing. I guess. But like, I do appreciate that they take an honest approach. Mm. You know, I, I think you have to learn that even when writing books for young adults, they can take a lot. They can understand a lot. And, you know, they should understand what other people go through and kids go through and what real life things happen. That being said, it didn't feel so, like so much a Catwoman book. Mm. You know, I don't think they got her. Mm. And maybe I'm just, you know, I don't know. I just, I just it's not, it, it was okay. <laughs> I'll just never forget the cat. I the know. cat. <laughs> no. And I do agree with because what you know what the two of you said that there should have been a um, uh, uh, more clear warning in the beginning, and that even though they did, you know, I do appreciate all the hotlines and stuff both at the end. Mm-hmm. I think I would have appreciated a little more. Well, especially like I just think if I was a teen, like dealing with any of that, and even the animal abuse thing, like her cat was killed okay spoiler alert i guess but like i'll never forget that like that's the thing that sticks in my head about the story uh, i would have liked to known about that beforehand you know right i mean we did talk about it like there why there isn't uh like before a, a, a like a book or a comic there is like warning you know movies have them and i think that's yeah i think that's fair like you know just to just to put that there's one section just to say animal abuse or like blah 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 you know I had to like you know com- like I would always um, spoil stories for me because I'm like I know this writer does this so I'm going to check if the story has rape in it and I would read Google Re- Goodreads review to figure that out and if it has I'm like nope check I'm out I, I think that's fair to do yeah like it's yeah, just- I, think, I think people should know before they get in it because at least like you know it's not that like oh I'm not gonna read this then I think and some people that'll be the case but for some people it's okay. I still want to expose myself and read these things, but at least I can ready myself if I'm exactly. someone who do a really exactly. good. I mean, you know, do as your what your comfort level is. Absolutely, go ahead and do that. But the thing is, it's kind of good to have that mental capacity. Um, Freddie said that sounds like a Gotham show influence. Maybe mm-hmm. that's why. I don't know. I also I haven't watched Gotham either. Uh, oh, and El Denver says I'm throwing shade tonight. Is the AC working? <laughs> the AC is working. You know, sometimes I don't. I don't always like everything. I like a lot of things, mm. and I'm very fair to what I read. Let's tell the truth. And Keep I'm it real. Fair. I know it's a fine read. I think there's some. They could do some improvements, and I think they're just starting this new line. They're gonna. They're gonna learn. They're gonna. They're gonna figure that out. And the art's good. The art's good in this. The art was really good in Mara. And Mara was an okay story. It was fine. It wasn't like, oh, this is it. But it doesn't need to be. It was good for what it was. And I appreciate DC making graphic novels where you get to spend more time with the character. 
I really like the idea behind them at least. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, Tiny Bruce and Selene had a fling on Gotham. It's very eh, weird. I just, I feel like it's better they don't have any past. They should meet as adults. I just like that better. I, I, I get why they're doing it. Children romance makes me so uncomfortable. Because you're a weirdo. <laughs> like, just, if it's like a romance for like under under 16, I'm very uncomfortable by that. <laughs> like, it's like, ah, stop. I think it's adorable. I don't mind at all. Like, I don't know. Like, low it's real life. life. I mean, because you're supposed happens. to be able to like have like a flashback, like, oh, I remember <laughs> when I was a, a young, young girl and I was in love for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know. Depends on who's writing it, how you're writing it. It can be really weird, weird and awkward at times. Okay, what else you have read, Maddie? Oh, let's just move away from me. Okay, <laughs> I can go. Okay. Let's Tell do it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, actually, I think Maddie maybe read this, too, but I read Dissolving Classroom. Oh, I did. Gene, so. <laughs> See, I was I've forgotten everything that I've read. Yeah, Kristen messaged me. It was like, this is like $4. I was like, all right. So yeah, it was like I, $4 I on effort. Amazon. <laughs> So I had to get it. I mean, and I love Junji Ito. I mean, if you could tell by the cover, it is about people melting. And you follow this brother and sister throughout the whole thing. There's different stories about, like, they keep making people melt. <laughs> and that's the story, guys. I mean, if you know Judy Ito, like you know it's gonna be weird and you're gonna think about it too much. And yeah. you know, the art's great, but it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I would totally recommend this. I don't know if it's still $4 on Amazon. Uh, maybe I'll check that out. I feel like it's but... so cheap. I loved it. I mean, I love anything he does. The story's yeah. so weird, but no one does horror like him. Yeah. Like, it's guaranteed to go into melting. This. And be surprised. Oh, it's still four dollars. Yes, everyone. Okay, guys, check it out right now on Amazon. Four dollars, like free delivery for Prime members. Yeah. Also, the Cat Diary is six dollars. Oh, and I loved the Cat Diary. So, if you're at least familiar with Junji Ito, the Cat Diary is great because obviously cats, but it is nonfiction about these two cats that he lives with because of his wife. And he's so freaked out by them, like he draws them in kind of a horror way. <laughs> I mean, eventually you see, like, obviously he ends up loving the cats, and there's like real pictures of his cats, and it's great. But it's just so well done and so funny, and it's very little and a quick read, and it's totally worth it. So I'm buying it right now. <laughs> totally get it. I love it so much. Uh, but on the Junji Ito front, also read Fragments of Horror. This is a collection of short stories he did. Um, this is a cute little hardcover. Like, b- Behind the Dust Jacket is also a really cool hardcover. Nice. I mean, again, his art is so good. So this is just, again, creepy short stories. They were all great. Usually within, like, short story collections, I'm, like, not digging some of them. But these were all, like, really great, really creepy. Again, if you like him, you're probably going to like everything he does. So I would also recommend those. Um. What was I saying about, um, are you doing your October read in September? I guess so. I don't know. I just got into it. <laughs> I just Start early, it. guys. I'm Tell putting up Halloween decorations. Over. Start early. Read list is Junji Ito's Tomie. That's the first thing I want to read for October. I got to get I'm that. decided. Yeah. I don't know what else. I, I haven't read any of my nail biters yet. I do have three of those oh. hardcovers. So I think I will read those so too. Good. Yeah, we should all make a list because, like, I want to get Faria to read a Junji Ito book. I think that would be fun. Mm, I'll I'll be into it. Well, tell me. I don't know about Tell me if she gets murdered a lot, right? That's the thing. Say that again. Is that the thing? I think I don't know anything Ito about that one. Murdered. Mm. A lot. Well, mm. I haven't read Uzumaki yet, but I need to. Oh, Uzumaki is so. But I feel like that's the one that ever you know everybody loves, right? So good. I'll reread it if you guys want to. I might. It's it's really. It's a lot. It's I, don't, a lot. I don't know if you can That's handle what I it. Hear. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, no, it's fine. I mean, I, I, I don't mind horror stuff and all that, as long okay. as I know that's what I'm getting into. Oh, okay. if you know what I, mean. you know, I guess in my head, I thought maybe you didn't. I don't remember. No, no, no. I mean, I just don't like a gotcha. Like, oh, oh hmm. look at that. A cute bird. Gotcha. No. <laughs> I don't care about that. No, it's creepy the entire time. I can't look at the nails. Oh, no. The same way ever again. <laughs> I'm looking forward right. to 
Um, hang on, just just before you go, I just need to answer this. Hidden uh, McGee is asking: Is Magnificent is worth worth checking out? I'm hesitant to with the new creative team after how bad Harley Quinn got after they switched. Uh, I know I haven't read it yet, but I know I trust in Saladin Ahmed. He is excellent. If you have read like any character that he started, he changed, like you know he actually enhanced them significantly. Uh, Quicksilver, Black Bolt are the two that I've already read. Um, his Miles Morales is like you know very well regarded. Um, so far, everything that I know of the Miss Marvel fandom, uh, Magnificent Miss Marvel is also getting a lot of good. Um, good rating i'm going to be reading the first trade very soon so keep an eye out we i will talk about it in the show but i can tell that Saladin Ahmed is pretty good i can trust in that sorry about that nice christian christian uh, uh el denver said september is just pre-october that's that's about right that's true i'm already getting pumped mm, yeah, for October yeah I, I feel that uh, I also read the sequel to Making Friends, Back to the Drawing Board, oh. by who we love, Kristen Goodsnook, who we've had on the show. We loved her so much. Um, this was really great. If you've read the first one, this is a great continuation. The story is different. Um, I think I liked it just as much, though. But yeah, it was really great. You know, there's a girl. She's got magic powers. She brings her, like, friend group into those powers. And shenanigans happen. <laughs> And it's great. Yeah, it's full yeah, of life yeah. le lessons and things that you want from a younger audience book. But a lot of people in the group seem to be picking this up, which is great because it's so good. And definitely more people need to support her. So I would recommend yeah, this. I agree. Yeah, I'm getting both of them soon. But Awesome. Mm -hmm. I finally read Lumberjanes and Gotham Academy. Oh, it's so good. I don't know. It took me so long, guys, because, of course, I love Lumberjanes and I love Gotham Academy. And this was um, an amazing pairing. So if you haven't checked this out, it's fantastic. Um, the quality of this trade is really nice, just like a Boom one, you know? So, hey, by the way, can you check if it's released by DC or Boom? Together, both. Oh, okay. DC and Boom. Oh, um, interesting. Because I wonder yeah. who, who publisher, who, which, uh, who's... um. Who gets ultimate credit? Yeah, I don't know. Whose printer they use? I, it feels like a boom book because right? it's cardstock. It's got a nice like soft cover. Mm -hmm. I think it's a. I think it's a boom book. And also DC, where the fuck is my Gotham Academy omnibus? Oh man, you know they should really do that. Yeah, that would be so. Because good. like I do want to read all of that. Size. Well, they just don't think about. I wish they thought more about like stop re-releasing omnibuses that we didn't ask for. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make omnibuses for these series that you have several trades of. Make it easier for people. Yeah. And I mean the whole series. I don't mean DC. Well, and, and we know Rider. Super Sons did well. Like, why would this not yeah. be a great follow-up to that? You know, it's a younger audience. They should put me in charge. I just don't uh, understand. Yeah, they really should. Are you applying? <laughs> I should. You should. You should. It'd be great. I think it'd be way less stressful than what I already do. <laughs> That's oh, sad. Yeah, really sad. I will say on the barcode here, it does say Boom Studios. Uh, even though it says DC and Boom right there. So yeah, yeah, I think the quality trade was from Boom. Mm -hmm. um, I also read Brick, which you can find it maybe at your local Ollie's because that's where I found it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an Oni Press book. It is about this boy. He's a young Jewish boy living in a really rough part of town. And this big looming thing is a golem that he makes come to life after some stuff happens. And... You know, the Goodreads reviews on this made me concerned that I wasn't right, in my opinion. Do you ever do that? <laughs> like, oh, I'm like, I really enjoyed this. The and they didn't love it. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Why did but I really liked it, guys. So I don't know. Maybe you won't, because a lot of people didn't, I guess. But I had a great time with it. And that's it's well done. Yeah. I have a bone to pick with Goodreads to say, but anyway, continue. <laughs> Those people on. don't know everything. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing I read, I finally read this. It's been sitting on my shelf forever. Is Space Dumplings by Craig Thompson, who I adore. That looks so cute. Oh, if you like anything Craig Thompson has done, I mean, you know, actually, I know Freed didn't like blankets, but I love blankets. Uh, but mm. I think you would love this, Freed, because it was really, really great. It's it is a space adventure about this little nice. like twelve year old girl and her family and she's like living on a spacecraft and meets all these people like it's just it's so good i, th I think both of you would love this it, i loved name? everything about it space dumplings space dumplings so it is a crazy space adventure that's a that's a whale there's like space whales and they're dangerous and basically one of these swallows her dad in a spaceship hole so she goes on an adventure to find her dad 
and he's with some of her friends. It's it's so good. I think you both would love it. Oh, you better believe it. I'm going to add it to my list. All right. That's what I read. Okay. So I read a lot of stuff. And first thing I read, like, you know, that's kind of like a block of things was the Young Animal imprint by uh, Jared Way and then multiple other people. Guys, I did not like it. I didn't care for it. I read every None of it? Issue. I read every uh, issue. I don't wow. know why I kept on doing it to myself, but I did. I did like Mother Panic. Like, that was one that I liked. But everything yeah. else was like, we're crazy and we love it. I'm like, no, I don't. Go do it somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know if I've read any of the Young Animal imprints. I think I've bought some of them, but I was just like, I'm not sure. So, I love DC. So the thing is, like, the Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison. That was really good. And that was his whole thing, right? This feels like a, like a imitation of that and not a good way you know so yeah. it, it just felt really dull and felt like why am i doing this mother panic that's the only one that's done done by jody hauser and that kind of reads like a normal comic book yeah i like that but more apparently you liked eternity girl called the other way huh you liked eternity girl that's a yeah young- Right, yeah, Eternity Girl, I liked it because it, of the theme that it was portraying. Yeah. And I think there there was a, it knew what it was. Yeah. All of these other one doesn't know what that is, what they are. They try to take themselves yeah. so seriously, even with all the craziness. I'd it, love to try Shade the Changeling, Changing Girl. Oh boy, uh, girl, when I read I don't, know, I don't know, I didn't like Eternity Girl. Uh, I think I will eventually try Doom Patrol. Um. Doom, just read the Grand Morrison Doom Patrol. Yeah. I'm telling you, because after reading this Doom Patrol, I'm like, I don't want to buy the Umbrella Academy <laughs> the edition. I want to buy it. No, I don't want to support this. Listen, I I met him on a street corner. He was lovely. Okay, he's well, a great course. person. I'm gonna support him. <laughs> Amazing. Oh I don't want to buy it. My Christian approves. <laughs> he didn't let me finish. <laughs> so that's that's what my that was my whole joke was. <laughs> like, I love but Kristen approved, so I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> okay. Um, I read uh, "Cry Havoc" by um Sai Sa- Sa- Sp- Spurrier. How many times you have heard about stories with a lesbian werewolf? Well, I never. This is the only one, and it's that pretty good. Great. Yeah, but it's pretty good. I really liked it. Six issue. It's all done. You know, one and shut. I. I really enjoyed it. Um, they say that they might be coming back. I don't think they should, but you know, I, if they do, I'm gonna pick that up too. Um, mm-hmm. Then Naja by John uh, David Marvin. So here's a list of things I hate: um, boys, racism, misogyny, and homophobia. I'm gonna put them all together. And Naja, this is like the list of things. Like, you know, it just like my, I hated this. I, this guy is misogynist. He hates women. He is misandrist. He hates men. He hates humanity. He should not be allowed to write anymore. I don't think he does. But anyway, this was a terrible book. I didn't care for it. Sorry. I actually promised that I shouldn't be, I don't want to put some negativity out there. This was too bad. People need to be watching. <laughs> Fair. Um, Black Widow, No Stream Plays by Soska Sister. Loved it. Yeah, first, okay. I got that one. I just need to read it. Yeah, the first ever time, it's not about Black Widow's past, but a present mission that she's on. Loved it. Um, Cowl by Kyle Higgins. It's an image series. It's okay. I don't know. So it's literally about this police force where superheroes work with the police and they all go on strike and what happens, how you negotiate okay. out of it. Very political stuff boring but i kind of enjoyed it bad girl year, year one by scott Beatty. i liked it for what it is but very much like catwoman that you were talking about yeah. i'm not sure if this is a barbara gordon okay you know, the only reason i know that it's barbara gordon because they told me but if they told me who is it i'll say that it's a stephanie brown okay you know, so it's what it is also, that brings up a point, how dumb is Batman? Because he's supposed to be the smartest person in the world, but he gives his secret identity to this girl he knows for two days. 
Oh. Well, Batman's very smart, but he's also I mean, he's, he's he's very he's a sensitive guy. Okay, that's the real truth. He likes to make friends and family, and he knows she's good. He knows her dad. It's fine. It's fine. I, yeah, so the things at that point, you're like, comic books, whatever. I don't want to be a grouch monster about it, but I was, because I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> I, see, I love that kind of Batman, so I'd just be like, oh, look at you. <laughs> um, I was actually hoping that he would be like, oh, I'm going to keep my eye on you, girl, but, you know, all of that, nah. Um, there was a lot of the, there was a lot of little girl thrown on out though. But even though she was supposed to be twenty two, twenty three, I did not care for that because I'm like, hey, listen, you know. But not yeah. so much for Batman, so that's good. Uh, Champions by Mark Wade and Jim Zub. Girls, this is the one that we always talk about, where superheroes just hanging out, doing almost nothing. This is it. <laughs> I need to try it. I would okay. It looks really good. I love Mark Wade. The only reason I haven't read it is if because of my own prejudice against the other Nova. Because I only want my Nova. Well, he's actually I not he's really in it good. as much. He's not in it as much. Okay. If you, okay. well, you know. But the thing is, like, you know, this is what it is. Um, but the thing is, like, it's very... Um, I love it. Like, like Kamala Khan takes them on, like, you know, team building exercises. Yeah. They're always fighting. Like, you know, uh-huh. there's like a relationship happening among them. And that's when I'm like, oh, kids. <laughs> <laughs> but then Viv Vision is in it very, like, you know, oh, she's good. been off a lot. And there is some interesting things going on with her. So it's kind of very much Viv Vision uh, centric. So if you liked Vision by Tom King, yeah. This is where you come back. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I read like all of them, so I kind of liked it. Uh, Infinite Horizon by Jerry Dugan. It was okay. I don't know what to say. It was okay. Um, Gasolina by Sean. can pronounce the last name. I do not recommend that. It was boring. It was very boring. I mean, it's about like drug dealing in like Mexico, like in the Mexican borders and everything when there is like a monsters happening and stuff. How is that book so boring? If someone tell you that's the premise, but then it's so boring. I was bored, guys. Sad. It was sad. Ghost Fleet by your boy, Donnie Gates. Who's boy? I mean, you know, we all. Everybody. I think it's everybody's boy. Yeah. <laughs> After God Country, he's Donny everyone's Cates is everybody's boy. boy. Yeah. yeah, everybody's boy. Uh, Donny Cates and um, Daniel Warren Johnson. Okay. He he does the art, and Donny Cates does the Reed's writing. Reed's boy. Yeah. yeah. That that's Reed's boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, really enjoyed it. It it was fun. It was really pretty much dumb fun that Donny Cates kind of do with his Thanos books and stuff. Do recommend it. Uh, Eclipse by Zach Kaplan. Boring. Don't read it. Um, Gender Queer by Maya Kobebe. Kristen told me about it. I read it. I loved it. Oh, it's so, so good. It's so it is, good. It's very good. Um, it's about like you know, a non-binary person talking about their life experience. Um, and I personally don't, you know, kind of understand that. So to me, it was a very educational. Um, it t- told me some things. I'm like, that's pretty neat. So I do recommend everyone to pick it up. Like, you know, especially if you want to know someone else's journey and stuff. Extremity by Warren, Daniel Warren Johnson, because things read got me into this guy. I have to read everything by him. <laughs> Guys, this was so sad. Oh, my God. This was the saddest book I've ever read. I do not recommend it to anyone <laughs> if, you're, if you're sad. If you're sad, don't read it. If you're super happy, well, guess what? Go ahead and read it because it and will. And you'll be really sad. <laughs> you'll be really sad. <laughs> Oh God, it's sad. so sad. It's really sad. Guys, my God. Um, and then um, I read Domino by um, by um, Gail Simone. It was pretty good. Didn't care oh. either way. So you liked another Gail Simone? I did like another Gail Simone. Wow. And guess what? This one didn't have any of the women in refrigerator problem. Pretty much straight shot. I really liked uh, Domino, though. I would say she did sound like Harley Quinn, but that's okay. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know much about Domino to know anything else. Um, Then I read a bunch of Hellblazers. I read Spread by Justin Jordan. It was okay. 
I'm not going to recommend or unrecommend. I mean, it was pretty much like a Wolverine running around in image world. That's what it was, you know, self-made by Matt Groom. I didn't like it. I mean, it was okay. No, it was okay. I gave it a three star. And then that's pretty much it. I think everything else talked in another place. Oh, Martyr Falcon. I love that. By so Daniel good. Johnson. I so good. It. So good. But that's it. That's pretty much it. I, I was, it, it, was, it was a lot of image heavy this month, I felt. Like last month. I le- read a lot of image. And honestly, I'll take it back that image books are always solid. It's not the case. There's a reason some of the image books you never hear about. There's a reason for it. I'm gonna say some of them not so good, but anyway, yeah, I am actually planning on reading up a lot of Rebirth this month. That's okay. what I'm gonna catch up on. What's I mean, your to see what you like and what you don't like? Have you read any? What have you, you read? DC, you know, do you mean you don't mean DC Rebirth? Then that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC oh, Rebirth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course she has. I know that. I know, I know. which ones. Which ones? Uh, I mean, I'm, I need to catch up, but Batman, Superman, Harley Quinn, Wonder Woman, Batgirl, Batgirl and Birds of Prey, Nightwing, New all Superman, the things. all of them. All of it, okay. The well, first volume of, like, I'm pretty sure all of them. Superwoman, that one's really good, too. Okay, because I read uh, Wonder Woman and um, Aquaman. That's what I kind of, yeah. you know, and, oh, Green Arrow. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking of starting with Nightwing. And then do Superman, Kristen. <laughs> Superman's really good. Cool man. Detective cool. Comics is great. Oh, oh, Detective Comics. That's the other one. I've, I've already oh caught God. up with it. I caught up with it. Okay, I need to catch up, but I'm sad. I know there's something that happens. I'm going to have to deal with it. I just don't want to yet. Okay. Well, um, I was also thinking about starting Flash, maybe. Like, I wanted oh, to do Nightwing and then Flash. And then, yeah, so that's kind of like, you know, some of the things I want to do. Um, yeah. Want to catch up this month with my Hoopla credit. But yeah, Young Animal was okay. I mean, yeah. It yeah. Is. I felt kind of sad about wasting my weekend on this. But anyway. Uh, also, I mean, next month is going to be October. So some spooky books. So if you guys know about some spooky ones, let us know. Yep, let us know what you want us to read. We got we to gotta pick. Right, we got yeah, to. Yeah, I was just only doing spooky book reviews all of October. If that's all I do October. It's a good idea. That's great. Right, I want to do um, the one that Infidel by. Um, I I can't say his, name, but you know it's. I've been wanting to read that one. Yeah. Yeah, Infidel. I can't come up person's name ever. So. <laughs> yeah. So um, he, um, I really want to read that one because it has like a hijabi okay. lady as a protagonist and there's not a lot of them out there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what's that about. Oh, I did read Long Halloween. Drewby is saying the Long Halloween. I liked it, you know, maybe I should reread it now that I got the giant ass omnibus that I can't carry with my noodle arm. <laughs> but anyway, any books that you guys are looking forward to coming out this, like, you know, over the next month? I bought so much now. I'm just thinking about what I need to read and not really so much like what I'm yeah. buying. It's always a hard question because I forget. Yeah, I um, um, One of the books that both Kristen and I read, Kanto. Yeah. Oh, I pick that up. Oh, yeah. it's so good. That was so cute. And the, uh, we, so we did a review for the Fangirls Assemble channel. You can see that over there. Um, it was so cute that uh, the, right, the artist, his dad, left us a comment. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really cute. left us a comment and like, oh, thank you so much for supporting our son's beautiful art. I'm like, and that oh. art is amazing. That's a Drew Zucker, right? Yeah, Drew Zucker. Oh, so good. So yeah, the art was really good. Um, and then uh, we're also reading Once in Future by Karen Gillan that we're oh, nice. blown away by. That has yeah, a cranky, really good. cranky old lady in it. So that's what something I'm looking forward to. Um, so anyway, um, if you want to see more of us, you can look, uh, go to our channel, that link for it is down below. If you want to see more of Maddie, you can go to Near Mint Condition, um, and you know the link for that. I, I, I'll add that link down below as well, but you know, at this point, everyone should know. Um, and then um, next week, we're going to be back with another episode, another you know show. Um, before we go, where can people go to look up, look for all these books? Instocktrades.com. 
Go really get them. <laughs> and Marvel DC Image Dark Horse up to 42% off. Everything else anywhere between 25 to 30% off. Uh, there's 50% off deals for books that are coming out next week. Um, and I'm pretty sure Batman Eternal will be one of those. Um, the Omnibus for that will be one of those. I do recommend it. It's a fun Batman story. I do recommend it for that. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking whether I want to get it or not. Um, and uh, then there's all the other books that we talked about. All of that is there. Free shipping, $50 or more in, within the United States. And even if you're not within the United States, their shipping is actually very comparable. Um, it's the customs that get you. But you can check it out figure like you know kind of see what's going on um and um yeah so come back next week for more chit chat from the fangirls we will see you soon have a good night Bye, guys. Bye. thanks guys